A window of opportunity is quickly closing for taxpayers. This year is one of three years you have left to take advantage of lower tax brackets until we see tax hikes coming in 2026. As we'll show in this video, it won't be uncommon to see your tax bill rise by 20 to 25%. Given this, it's imperative that retirees have a forward-looking tax plan and are taking advantage of the current tax opportunity that we have. In this video, we'll walk through five major changes that you need to know about. But first, the reason there are tax hikes looming is due to the sunsetting of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. This act was put into law in 2018, and it's written into the bill that if Congress takes no action, these rules will sunset in 2026. Up to this point, there's been no serious discussion around extending this bill, so we have to assume that there's going to be this sunsetting. Now, the reason this shift is so important is because right now we are in some of the lowest tax brackets that we've seen historically, and I know it might not feel like it, but it's the reality. Come 2026, your tax bill will rise. Now, here are three examples for three retirees looking at their tax bill today and then in 2026. The first example is a single retiree with $78,000 of gross income from some various sources. With this tax law change, they would see their tax bill rise nearly 23% from $7,600 up to $9,400. The next example is a retired couple with a pension, social security, a small RMD, and a few other odds and ends. This couple would see their tax bill rise a whopping 27% from $8,100 up to $10,400. Then finally, we have a situation of a retired couple performing Roth conversions and maxing out the 22% bracket they would see their tax bill rise nearly $7,000 for a 16.5% increase. Now, if we just look at the income from the first two cases, we can see they're in the heart of retirement. They have Social Security income as well as a few other sources. Now, due to the various tax traps that they're going to see in retirement, these retirees will see a 20% tax increase. This is because they're inside of the uh, Social Security tax torpedo as well as a, a fair amount of other tax hurdles. The third scenario is a couple in early retirement. So we can specifically see a bit more risk in this tax bill for retirees showing a reasonable amount of income. And unless you're someone who is paying next to no tax already, it's very likely that you're going to see a substantial increase come 2026. So what are you doing to alleviate your future tax liability? How are you setting your future self up for success? Have you been implementing key tax strategies over the last five years? Given the current market downturn as well as favorable tax brackets, we've seen significant opportunities over the past 18 months. Many retirees are able to get ahead of schedule in optimizing their future tax bills because of this. Let me explain a bit more. First, one of the key changes coming in this tax bill is a reversion back to the old tax rates. This means that each bracket is set to rise 2-4% to outside of the 10% and 35% brackets. Now, Roth conversions are a key strategy you can use today to take advantage of these current lower tax rates. And with Roth conversions, we know there is a tax benefit if you're converting at lower rates today than you will see in the future. And this is really the key relationship that matters, today's tax rate versus tomorrow's. Given this, you can see obvious benefits in today's tax climate. If you're converting at 22% today and later you find yourself in the exact same bracket, that will be a 25% bracket. Well, we should pay 22% today to avoid 25% tomorrow. We know that that makes sense. Now, we even see another zone where an opportunistic retiree can be a bit more aggressive and convert into the next bracket, 24%. Now, since 24% is still lower than 25%, even if that retiree finds themselves in a lower tax bracket in the future, there is still a spread that can be had. This makes this uh, tax rate change especially beneficial if you're doing conversions right now. But tax rates aren't the only adjustment. There will also be movement in tax brackets here as well. There are three key tax brackets that will see an adjustment down, and therefore you will see higher taxes arrive sooner as you show lower uh, levels of income. This would be the current 24% bracket, 32% bracket, as well as the 37% bracket. Just for example, the 32% bracket lowers by about $90,000 for a married couple. Now, for those that want to know a little bit more about how these brackets well, are adjusting, you basically take the 2017 levels and increase them for inflation. Now, we already know what the tax bracket adjustments look like from 2017 to 2023. 
From here, we can reasonably estimate the next three years worth of adjustments based on whatever inflation rate we end up seeing. So now we have two shifts that are raising tax bills, but there's also a third factor at play with the lowering of the standard deduction. Right now, we've all gotten used to a very large standard deduction. 90 plus percent of filers just simply take the standard deduction. A standard deduction is an exclusion of income taxes, and so the larger that this deduction is, the better. Well, come 2026, we will revert back to the much smaller standard deduction, and then we'll add in something called a personal exemption. Now, it's important to note that a standard deduction has no phase out, no matter how much income you show, whereas the personal exemption does. And so this adds in another tax hurdle that we need to be thinking about. Taxpayers showing a substantial income in the form of conversions or for other reasons will see this exemption eliminated and now you'll just have that much smaller standard deduction. Now, adding these two deductions together, we'll see that the overall deduction decreases by $2,350 for single filers and $4,700 for joint filers. Keeping in mind the previous two changes we've discussed, this is gonna mean more of your income is taxed and it's taxed at higher rates. Now, the first three changes really create an opportunity over the next three years. For example, let's quickly walk through a few forward-looking tax graphs for a 63-year-old couple. Now, they have just under $2 million in tax-deferred accounts currently. Now, looking at their situation with no conversions, we can see there's a lot of tax pain coming down the road. They're not only pushed into higher taxes, but see their required minimum distributions push them into other tax hurdles. Things like the Social Security tax torpedo, different Medicare penalty zones, and then the widow trap later in life. Now, if you're not familiar with what these tax traps are, I'll include links in the description below. Feel free to go in the description and, and learn a little bit more about these very important tax hurdles that we need to be planning for as retirees. Now, this tax situation means that right now, this retiree will be paying very little in taxes. But later in retirement, their tax bill will rise well over six figures. Now, some of you might say, that's a good problem to have. And, and yes, that may be the case, but good problems and bad problems, if they can be fixed, should be fixed. Now, the good news here is this problem can be fixed with some prudent tax planning. For instance, we can run through over a dozen withdrawal strategies and we would find that the optimal Roth conversion strategy is maxing out the 24% bracket for these next three year window and then dropping down and maxing out the 22% bracket thereafter. Now keep in mind that will be the 25% bracket, but that delivers some substantial tax savings. First, what you'll see is the tax liabilities are completely smoothed out. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see upwards of half a million dollars in peer after tax benefit, depending on how long this couple lives. We can see much more than that if they live well into their 90s. And this doesn't even encapsulate the full benefit. Each year we want to run this tax analysis and adapt accordingly. This needs to be a dynamic process. What we would find is that we'd want to back off some conversions later in life in order to leave a slightly larger IRA balance during the last decade. The reason being is because we want to be filling up smaller brackets like the 10% bracket if we can. Again, it always makes sense to fill up those smaller brackets because we can't convert at lower rates than those rates. But nonetheless, we can see this is quite compelling. Let's talk about two other important retirement changes, however, coming in 2026. One change that will affect a smaller number of retirees, but will be massively impactful for those that it affects, is the change in the federal estate exemption. Come 2026, the current estate exemption is cut in half. Now, very few people will hit the current estate exemption, but this will change in 2026. Now, you can think about the estate exemption like a standard deduction at the end of your life. Anything under the exemption is tax-free, but anything over is taxed. Now, know that federal estate taxes can be quite costly quite quickly. At just $100,000 over the estate exemption, you will see a 30% tax rate. Now this eventually rises to as much as 40%, but this is a massive tax cost to retirees that will be subject to these various zones. Now, I know many of you are sitting here looking at your balances today and thinking, this will never be an issue. And look, depending on your current balances and your goals for your retirement plan, they won't be an issue for many of you viewing this video. But for some, this is a real concern. Now here at Safeguard, our team runs plans at some pretty conservative growth rates, more conservative than what we've seen historically by a few percentage points. Now this is a snapshot of a Monte Carlo analysis, however, 
For a retiree that has $3 million, they're in their early 60s, and they have some relatively conservative spending goals. All values are shown in current dollars. And so we can compare that to the current estate exemption or what it will be in 2026. Now, especially in an above average trial, or rather a trial that looks closer to historical growth rates, this retiree will have to worry about estate tax. You see they're over that estate exemption and all of those better trials. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't matter if you have all of your money in Roth IRAs. The estate tax includes the value of all of your assets and will apply that tax on Roth IRAs as well. Now, the good news is you can take advantage of the current doubled estate exemption before it reverts back to those old brackets. But we'll have to save those strategies for another video. Then finally, a change that we expect in 2026 is technically unrelated to the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, but happens to line up perfectly with the sunsetting of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And that's the reversion back to the subsidy cliff for the Affordable Care Act insurance marketplace. Now, right now on ACA insurance, you can show six figures worth of income and still earn a substantial subsidy north of $500 per month. This is because, frankly, the current subsidy system is quite forgiving. Your costs rise linearly to your income, but come in 2026, we go back to the subsidy cliff. This means there's a point around seventy dollars to $80,000 for a married couple where you fall off the cliff, and you will lose a subsidy after showing just a few extra dollars north of this income threshold. This means that $500 per month plus savings is eliminated just like that. For many, this further drives home the importance of that forward-looking tax plan. The biggest savings will be had for those that are willing to plan and coordinate their investment, their tax, and their estate strategy properly. Now, the question is, are you gonna be part of this group of savvy retirees? Now, if you're looking for additional information on how you can efficiently withdraw from the assets that you have saved up, click on this video right here. Uh, there are quite a few tips in this video that will help you build a strong tax strategy in coordination with the looming tax hikes. Now, as always, remember you don't need more money, you need a better plan. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.